friends, it's Nancy. My last video I made this belly band and this tag. Um, I was saying I was going to have to sew that and I just added a really flat uh, shell button there and stitched, stitched the bow right to the tag so that it wouldn't fall off or fall apart. And I'm happy with how that turned out. It's pretty flat. I mean, it does have some depth and texture, but it's not, it's not terrible. And I think it's a really pretty effect. So today I want to try another project. Um, I can't remember where I saw this, but I will try to remember and I will give credit where credit is due. So I have a business reply envelope that has a um, window in it. We might as well just get things dirty right from the get-go. Now, I was looking for a picture to put in the window, um, and it's difficult because this, this had to be pretty tall and narrow because it's not, like, you can get bigger windows and envelopes, and maybe if you have a bigger window, you might want to try to if, you're, if you want to copy this. Um, little element. Okay. So I want it, I'm going to fold it, not in half, but just, you know, sort of leave a little frame there. Okay. So I started with the antique linen and I will finish up with a little bit of gathered twigs. Grungy. Okay, so I've had this. This is a. Uh, this is from a. I want to say it was like one of those reminisce magazines, and I had fussy cut out these Christmas books, and I think I can cut this in half, and it's going to fit. in that window. I'm just going to move Hans Brinker a bit. It's a tiny bit lower. Okay. And I'll just use a piece of scotch tape to hold it in place. Okay. Now I can close the envelope. Okay. So now what I would like to do is Find a little fussy cut of some kind. 
that maybe looks like a Christmas card or a Christmas book. Maybe I'll just cut this one out. Uh, let's back it onto some card. This fussy cut may have come from a Reminisce magazine or it may have come from an Ideals magazine. This is just a scrap of uh, paper. I hope you're having a good day. I still don't know if it's uh, bones or no bones. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just glue her on there as sort of like a little tuck spot. Get a little distress ink first. All right. Yeah, that worked out good. Because now you can still see the three images. Cans Brinker, Chatterbox, and this pretty little lady. Okay, now what I want is a paper clip. And I think I will use a Christmas red paper clip. So I want the short end inside the envelope. So this short loop inside. Okay. Now, to make sure that it's... To make sure that it's the profile of that clip isn't going to be too bumpy. Gonna add a little bit of fiber tack. And got some cheesecloth here. I'm just going to fill in that dent there, or the space. With a little bit of cheesecloth. So that's sort of 
takes care of the step down. All right. <laughs> now, this is going to be covered, so I feel completely fine with getting a piece of masking tape. And covering that up. Now, what do we need? We need a piece of, we need a scrap of paper. That's what we need. What do we got? We need a piece of Christmassy looking paper. This is um, a Christmas carol sheet music, and I've covered it with a napkin, so I might use that. Let me see what else I got in here. one a little shorter than the envelope. I'm going to make a little pocket here. Just a little thumb hole. Maybe we'll do it here between the point setters. And a little ink. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of stitching. You don't have to sew. I mean, you can just glue this down like that on the three sides. I am going to stitch along this, then I'm going to glue it down, and I'm going to have a, a pretty wide stitch length so that I can carefully stitch over that peri uh, paper clip. I'll probably hand crank my uh, sewing machine. Okay, so I let me pause while I do that. Okay, sewing part is done. Um, so I want to add a little notepad here. Let me just measure this. So it's backwards. And 
about five and a half inches tall and a maximum of, of four inches wide. So I'm probably going to say three and three quarter, five and a quarter is maximum. Let me just write that down. Three and three quarter, five and a quarter. Let me just grab some paper here. So this is plain regular weight paper. So some might be tea dyed, some might be cut from something or other. Okay, let's see. So this this one is just about four. So I'm gonna cut it at three and three quarter. And that torn edge is fine with me. That one's about five and three quarters. And I said five and a quarter, right? So let's cut this down to three and three quarter first. Whoa, <laughs> that must have been a vintage piece of paper. Oh, it's okay. We'll give it another trim. Yeah, old paper cannot cut with a knife. And I said five and a quarter. that edge. This was an envelope that got torn. And it is almost almost five inches. Save that piece for another time. This looks like it was a page from a book. It's not very square. Kind of got a, a wow in it. So I've got one, two, three, four. This piece of paper says date on it, so I kind of like that. Okay. So what I want to do, so this will be pinned onto a page like that. This will open, and then 
the note paper will be like that. Uh, so I'm just going to pin this on with a little clip while I do a little bit of sewing, get the sewing started. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I sewed the um, papers in, so we've got a little, little notebook here. Um, this here is a slot to put in, let's see what we can put in there. So I can make like little tags using that. Uh, oh, here's a little picture. So I can cover the backs of these book page with some just some plain paper. Or I have a I grabbed a strip of that uh, paper. I'm just gonna make a little envelope. I'm trying not to breathe. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to cut this a little shorter, like that, tuck that down, and make a little envelope. Now, I can glue those flaps down, I think I will. When in doubt, put some ink on it. Okay, beautiful. And then I can tuck that into that little slot, or I could even tuck that into that little slot. I think I'll tuck it into that slot. Anyway, um, and then it will go on a page. Time to clean the desk area again. Uh, I think I'm going to put it right there. And then you can flip that up, take this out for a little bit of journaling paper, tear off a piece for another little note. And uh, yeah, so there's that. All right, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you thought it was interesting and um, crafty something. Oof, I will definitely have to let you know where I saw that. I think it was on Instagram. I think it was on Instagram.
All right, you take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.